New Day Parents, it's me, Scaling19. Welcome back to Let's Play Soul Reaver, where I get yelled at by apparently a vampire that I can't see. Oh, but apparently he saw me, so I'm guessing he's up here. Ah, there we are. Hi, guys. Get rid of you. Oh, well, I'm gonna eat your soul. Take this. Kill you. Nailed it. Remember this so vivid. Like, um, if my cousin or my brother watches this, they are gonna have like some mad nostalgia trips because all of us played these games. My brother more so than any of us, and they absolutely loved them. We all did. Like, they were all really great games. Well, obviously, my brother and uh, my cousin were obviously much older than me, so they understood these games better than I did. So I'm actually kind of looking forward to playing through this because now I actually get like to understand the story a bit more. Um, one of the one of the major things that I'm learning from like playing my older games and what have you for this channel is that I'm actually like really starting to understand and appreciate the stories a lot more. Like even for Command and Conquer, like most of the time I didn't pay any attention to anything that was happening in Command and Conquer games because I just did not care. And. Uh, Oh yeah, you come out of these little holes in the ground. Forgot about that. Bah. I was gonna say, I thought there was a way that you could like make them pop out of the ground. But I guess it's just whenever whenever you get close. Um now, I seem to remember there being something. See, I say that, I say that like, I seem to remember, but it's... <laughs> that's like 20, 20 years worth of memory, so I'm probably wildly wrong. Right. Also, like, even the, the rain effects, like, that was mind-blowing in the time, because you never had that in video games, like, at all. fact that like it has it's it's like an adventure fighting game with an incredible story eh, apparently can't get up there yet but it has like these puzzle aspects to it like this game is just phenomenal I will I will sing this game's praises till the cows come home hmm. there's a lot of this there's a lot of like looking around and kind of trying to figure out what needs to be done but we'll have I think we're meant to just go over here. I think, like, the first part of the game is just kind of getting to grips with the story and getting to grips with the controls. Because, for the most part, this game is, uh, clunky. Because, I mean, of course, because it's PS1. Oh, got him! That was, like, way off to the right. Left, rather. But, uh, who cares? I'll take it. Because I know that one, you needed the extra height. There's like, just little bits of nostalgia that's like coming back to me. And I'm like, oh yeah, I remember that you had to do this. Because I remembered like, when I was a kid that I would die like, 40 times going through that little jumpy puzzles there. Again, mainly because I was a kid and I was garbage at video games. But, you know, you know, what can you do? Hello, sir. Papa. Is there another weapon that I can use? There is. Hello, sir. You can go on there. <laughs> See what I mean? Uh, not the greatest. Not the greatest uh, mechanically. But hey, this game's brilliant and it was the first of its kind, so, you know. Especially with just having this, like, gloriously eerie music in the background all the time. It's, uh... Good. I like it. I like it a lot. We haven't had a really good like vampire based game in a long time. If they made, I tell you, if they made a Legacy of Kane remake, I would, it would literally be that scene from, uh, from Futurama where I'm like, shut up and take my money. Just take it. All of it. I'd be throwing money at this game. Uh, I believe we're meant to climb up somewhere. Hmm. Hmm, I, c 
trying to remember. Are we meant to... Is this where we're meant to, like, switch between realms? Camera, Jesus. Because I don't think... Yeah, I think this is where we're supposed to... Change realms on purpose. Yeah, there we go. Beware, Raziel. These wraiths are vampire spirits fettered too long in the spectral realm. When their vampire natures adapt to this plane, they become eaters of souls. Do not allow these spirits to re inhabit their corpses. Because they, I think, they steal the souls that you're trying to eat. And they're actually, ow, yeah, really strong. And they'll steal your essence as well if you let them. Get out of here. Whew. There we go. So those guys are extremely deadly enemies that I remember. Because the problem is when you're in the spectral realm like this, you don't have your second life essentially. So you have like, when you're in the material world like this, if you lose your health bar, then you just fade back into the spectral realm and you can recover your health and come back. In the spectral realm, if you lose all your health in there, that wraith can eat you, and that's it. Game's done. And this game, because obviously it's like an older style game, this game is not easy. I forget why I need to do this. Oh, I remember why, because this is where you learn, like, that you can, like, flip the block. Is it jump? No. That one? No. That one? No. That one? No. Uh, I forget which button it is. Five and four. Hold on, which button's number four? Hold on. Do I need to be, like, holding forward? I forget. I am trying every button right now. Or do I have to press them together? Yeah, I'm not, I'm not doing this. Hold on, I need to look at my controls. Which one's four? Which one's four? Hold on. Uh, gamepad configuration. Uh, four is action, so I think that's... I think that's fucking B. So what's five? Five is crouch, so it's... Oops! There we go. So five... Five is... So I need to hold left... Oh, that makes sense, because I need to crouch coming up to it. Got it. Got it. I'm good at video games. I know what I'm doing. So we need to do this. Hey, I remember how to, to, to press buttons. It's because I'm playing it on like, I download, you can download this game for Steam, but uh, to make this game, because it's so old, to make this game work with a controller like I'm using right now, you have to do like some proper configuration of the controls. And the, the thing that ups, the, it's kind of difficult for me to deal with is because instead of saying like, press the square button to attack, or press the X button to attack, like on an Xbox controller that I'm using, it's like, um, it just goes press button 5, and I'm like, uh, I forget which one that is. Right. So this puzzle, so we've got a weights puzzle here. So we step on one of these, and it goes down, the other one goes up. Weights puzzle. Now... Let's go down here and fight this fuck that's down here. Hello, sir. Kind of probably should have looked around for ways to kill you first. Well, let's do that. And you see how this guy's got the, the blue sparkly sparkles about him? That's because you pulled the, the spear out of him and the wraith that was in the spectral realm re-inhabited his body. So he's actually got the abilities of the wraith and himself. So he can hit you like a normal vampire can, but then if he hits you, he does that draining attack on you. So you have to be careful with that. Bap. Ooh. Did not think he would juke me there. Blur. Another one? You gonna get up too? What about you? No? Alright. 
Right, let's go back up and complete that puzzle. So we need to go back around now. So we need to solve this puzzle down here. Which is pushing... It's another block puzzle. So we need to take this block. We need to get it across the other side. Which I don't think we can take that way because... So with this game, you can't... I don't think you can flip that because it's like a quarter block. So what you have to do is you have to shove this off. But what I'm actually going to do right now... Actually, I don't think I will because I'm, I'm scared that... Yep, knew it. I was going to say, I'm scared that one of these guys is going to come up now that I've pushed down the block like I'm supposed to. Blur. I'll take my gutter back. Lots of... You're going to be seeing this a lot. There's a lot of block puzzles in this game. And I'm going to try my best to remember how to complete any of these. Hello, sir. Or madam. Whatever you are. I suppose you're a ghoul. I will say though, for like a PS1 game, you have to give it its credit. Credit where credit is due. The game is... For three-dimensional block puzzles and stuff, this is outstanding. Like It's really smart and really well done. Especially because it's kind of clunky, but it makes you like observe the game around you. I have like a newfound appreciation for this game just because of that. Eh. There we go. Right. So now that we've completed that, we can get back up top to finish that other puzzle. But what I'm actually going to do, because we don't need this spear right now, I am actually going to chuck the spear up there. Because unfortunately, uh, when we change into the spirit realm, as you will see right now, we can't take the spear with us anymore because obviously it's a material possession, so we can't... We cannot take material items into the spectral realm. So we have to... Would you just stop trying to push the wall and jump? And then I can use this portal without healing myself. Come on. I hear you. I hear you, you little soul. Come on. Where is this damn thing? Oh. Nom, 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 nom. Right. Now I can go back. I always press the wrong button. There we go. Is there... I feel like there's... I feel like there's a secret or something on this. But I don't remember if this game has any. I can't remember at all. So now... Now that we can climb up here... So you're probably thinking to yourself, all right, but if we jump on this one, then it goes down and the other one comes up and you have to be really quick to do it. No, you do this. Yep. And now it doesn't move. That's how you complete puzzles, baby. You can jump it really quick if you want. But uh, I don't think that's the way the, the puzzle was intended to be completed. I think you're supposed to do the thing. But then now, what I don't understand is how am I supposed to get some souls? I forgot how to do that. Hello? Are there any souls kicking about? Can I like... Yeah, I can't do this without being max souls. Right! I'm actually going to pause this here. We'll call that an episode, and I will uh, see you guys when we're back into the material realm. So, uh, I'm Skilly19. Thanks for watching.